Boo yeah, hey guys, it's Mark Shea here. You're watching Exploring Australia. And we're here testing out some gear. Thought we'd go for a bit of a hike and do the Grand Canyon walk here in the Blue Mountains. So get ready, check it out. Rev it up, pay the toll. Following the wild line to free our soul. The UHS 125, we got a combo. Yeah, so as I said, we're in the Blue Mountains. Thought we'd go for a walk. This walk's normally about three hours or so. And of course, Vanessa's taking her photos along the way, so it'll probably take us five or six. And um, yeah. And I thought, well, while we're at it, we'll try try out some gear. We've got a real heavy backpack. Got some new stuff to try out, so see how we go. And I thought, you guys might like to see what it's like here in the Grand Canyon. Walk. about the fires here in Australia this was some of it up in the Blue Mountains and as you can see things are burnt but the greens starting to come back and you can see the logs are charred it's amazing Australia was made to burn it was actually designed that way there's plants here that don't even germinate until they've been burnt so but yeah, you can see how quick the green comes back. Okay, so now we're at Evans Lookout. This is Evans Lookout, isn't it? <laughs> so, you can see that's where we're heading. We're going down that way. Let's go have a look at the lookout. on fire just earlier this year. Still a bit misty here, a bit foggy. Look that all lift, and it's a bit warmer because we're in winter. In the Blue Mountains, it's absolutely freezing here. But the walk will help warm us up, I'm sure. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't you remember that? And here we go. Starting the walk. Official start of the Grand Canyon Walk. Oh, we've got a few stairs to come up. Yeah, more burnt wood. You can see a lot of that here. Like I said, this is where the fires came through. One of the areas, anyway. A whole bunch of Australia was on fire. I'm gonna go all the way down there. This is gonna be fun. Like I said, we're trying some new gear. And as you guys have known from my previous videos, I know I do things on a budget. So I'm trying out the Austral trekking pole, $25 Australian.
見えんさ。There's Vanessa up there. She's doing her little vlogs. So I'm just sort of getting out of her way so she's, I'm not in her videos too much. Spoke to a local who does this track a little bit and said, never seen it so busy. But it's one a lot of stairs, as you can see so far. And that, so make sure you bring maybe some sort of walking stick, trekking pole, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, and some good shoes because it's really slippery down here. It is a rainforest after all. And, um, whew. We're not even halfway, I don't think. <laughs> but yeah, so keep watching and I'll take this time to say hit like, subscribe, notification bell, you know the go. Anyway, back to the trail. Eh? In that matter, where you look? This site's to see opportunities for photos or footage or whatever you're doing. Let's look at that.
Yeah, so we thought we'd go down, do a little bit of a loop, and then go back up the same way we came, the way everyone was huffing and puffing coming up. It sounded like they'd gone down and then come back up the same stairs. But this looks like we're going around a different way. So it's just one big loop that comes out a different spot. So I don't know if we'll be doing those big stairs that I showed you at the beginning. But as you can see, we've got views. When you look across there, yeah, that's where the fire, yeah, you can see the fire's going through there, the base of the trees all got stuff on them. But yeah, Australia's resilient, it loves its fire, and it grows back. It's us idiot humans that expect the fire not to happen, to protect the houses and that. Now look, I get it, but we're the ones fighting nature, nature's not fighting us. You got all these little ledges and caves and... Well, that's really good here. So, it's a good little walk so far. I don't know how long we've got to go. You know, because Vanessa, being a photographer, of course, has to stop every two minutes. And, <laughs> yes, really. And what would normally take a two minute walk takes 10 minutes because we got to stop, take photos, stop, take photos. But it's all part of the 
You should go over and check out her Instagram and her Facebook pages. Of course, she's got her vlogs on YouTube, but check out her Instagram and Facebook pages and you'll see some awesome shots and that's why we take so damn long. Can't, can't rush genius, right baby? Yeah? <laughs> okay, so let's keep going, see where this trail's gonna lead us. Hopefully not back to those stairs after we just climbed up here. So, oh, <laughs> just as I say that, we go downstairs. <laughs> so up and down. Again guys, if you're enjoying this video, smash like, of course subscribe, hit the notification bell, help me make more of these videos for you guys to enjoy. But yeah, if you can get to the Blue Mountains, there's definitely a walk worth checking out. You got caves, you got... See we got the galahs down there, of the human grind. <laughs> Yeah, so this is called the Grand Canyon Walk. I know it's not like the Grand Canyon in the US, but it's a good little walk in the Blue Mountains. Oh, so duck that head. Ooh, don't get snapped. <laughs> seeing from up here. It's got a big ravine. Is that thing? Try to remember, is ravine the right word? Oh look at that ledge. You need water going in there. Jeez, it just goes down, down, down. And again we're in darkness. Let me see if I can lighten you up. I know it'll get noisy. I'm about you being able to see not whether or not it's grainy. So if you got a problem with things being grainy, get over it. I try and give you some good quality videos. But when you're doing this, you don't have a lighting rig to carry around. And we're getting late in the afternoon. Oh yeah. So I'm darkening you up. Look at down there. That's almost straight down. You give up. Yeah. Going around, going around. And we got more stairs. Stair stairs. So, 
if you're coming down here definitely get something to help you walk if you, you know if you're not used to walking but if you're a hiker you're probably more used to having the trekking path but yeah there's a lot of stairs and not all the stairs are stair stairs they're basically rocks in place of stairs as you've noticed so but like come on look at this view this is what we're looking at when we're walking you know <laughs> Woo. yeah so make sure you got something to help you stable make sure you got food and drink a lot of people have been having snacks on the way there's no toilets so unless you want to find a quiet spot and try and hide from everybody there's not many places to actually do that so make sure you go up at the lookout before you come down there's toilets up there so make sure you empty your bladder like yeah and make sure you got good footwear too um, one guy almost slipped and came tumbling down the stairs just from the wet and slippery rocks. But it's definitely worth it. You know, people have been racing through. Take your time. Like it says three to four hours. Like we've been we've been we've been three to four hours already. So, you know, for us it's gonna be like five or six. But just take your time, enjoy it, bring a camera, have fun, have something to eat while you're down here. Enjoy the sights of nature. Yeah, definitely a walk you should check out. But let's see how far we got to go. And then we'll wrap it up when we get back to the we get back out of here, right? You are close to the edge oh. of a deep hole into the canyon. Yeah. The rocks are slippery even when dry. Abseilers only beyond this point. So yeah, this is where the abseilers that we saw. Yeah. Oh, there you are. There's the anchors. See them? So, those abseilers we saw earlier. Oh, yeah. Hey, wrong way. Yeah. So there's the chains, and they're down there in that cave. Well, they're probably not there, but then they'll be around here somewhere. So yeah, doing this walk probably first thing in the morning. So at this stage, you, you know, I mean, you know, like eight o'clock, maybe nine o'clock. Just so, yeah, if you start about eight, nine o'clock, then you'd be midday at this point, and it'd be all really bright. But we're moving along. Oh, you can't even see it, so I'll jump past this part. It's really dark.
Huh? It's not wet. It's not spraying. Gotta go. Oh, we got a tunnel. Can you see it all? Yeah. Do you need the light? Tunnel. What was that? Here, yeah, so you got a little bit of a tunnel there. We we're thought we were heading back up and we're going back down. Oh, there we go. I'm going up now. Yeah. And then we go. Start making our way up by the looks of it now. There we go. And up we go. Back down. <laughs> oh, well, it's, at least it's downhill. <laughs> I know. Just, just think when you, just when you think you're heading up, it takes you back down. I think uh, I think we've earned some chocolate. <laughs> Had some chocolate today. What about a Reese's cup each? Yeah. Uh, no, we'll have that too. We have a Reese's cup and a root beer. <laughs> Yeah, so, so far, if you're going to do the Grand Canyon walk, definitely go the way we did, that you've seen on the video. Because I don't want to jinx us yet. But I can tell you, if the rest of the up is like this is, it's going to be nice. Where, what was it, the Evans Lookout? 
And if, if, you're, if you're going towards the Evans Lookout in the Grand Canyon Walk, you got a huge load of stairs to climb up. And that's going to knock you on your ass. So we're hoping that we're not going to come across stairs like that. But every time we go up, it takes us back down. So we have no idea how far we got to go yet. So let's keep rolling. shoes right there on Nessa's feet. Yeah, get the focus. Follow the purple. There we go. Yes. So the rain, snow and mud ultra 4.0. They are definitely highly recommended. And we've walked a whole bunch of different terrains. Walked them beach. Walked on the beach, walked on rocks, walked on gravel, walked on dust, dirt, soil, grass. The only problem is if it's a really smooth, wet rock, they get really slippery, but they're not designed for smooth, wet rock. They're designed for rock and train. Train? <laughs> Terrain. So yeah. Definitely highly recommended. Yeah, very much worth the money, especially if you're gonna do a lot of walking and you got, you got bad knees and backs and all that sort of stuff. More stairs, like I said. If this is what it's like going up, that's not a problem. Now you step up, take a step. Step up, take a step. The other one is just straight up stairs, as you saw when we came down. And we thought we were gonna have to walk back up them. So, as long as we don't jinx ourselves, hopefully this is the way it is all the way up. Hit the stairs. We'll hit a steep lot of stairs. As you can see, the light is fading fast. It is getting very dark. So we may not actually get to do a proper outro tonight so I might have to tag one on at the end but we'll see oh. but I'll film as long as I can so you can see what we're going through hey And there's a lot more stairs coming up too. <sighs> and as I said before, we're not sponsored by any of the equipment that we talk about. But I do have an amazing sponsor called Conceptual Creative. <laughs> yeah guys, links in the description. Make sure you check them out. They help me out so much. I cannot thank them enough. So show them some love. 
see, I'm even thinking of them while I'm in pain going up a steep lot of stairs. They're that good. They will take care of all your internet needs. Oh, in the sense of web hosting, website design, and website maintenance. Martin Mills is the man, as far as the boss. Although his wife might say something else. But he's the one you want to speak to and get him to help you out today. But that being said, uh, yes, you can check out what they're doing for me at markshay.com.au. Markshay Music, sorry. .com.au. Uh, but besides talking about an awesome business that supports me in everything I do and puts up with my crazy ways we do have to say for the gear that we're not sponsored for we do recommend Ultra because that's the thing uh, yeah, the Ultras are awesome these Oz Trail checking poles are awesome for 25 bucks at Big W grab me uh, but I'll talk more about gear later. I just want to get up these stairs with Vanessa. We still got a fair bit to go. So I don't know how much more the light will hold out for me to film. Yeah, so I'm out and about. You'll probably see me dressed like this in the next video. <laughs> but um, yeah, our little trip to the Blue Mountains with the Grand Canyon walk, we ran out of light, ran out of time, and I didn't get to shoot an outro. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. It was an awesome walk. Um, one thing I gotta say is, if you're gonna do the Grand Canyon walk, definitely go the way that we showed you in the video, which is the Grand Canyon walk car park, go down and around back up to the other car park, because the stairs going back up are easier that way. Yep, yeah, so. It definitely made the call there. Um, if you go, because a lot of people were going the other way and coming up to the lookout and then through Grand Canyon Walk car park and then, because there's 750 meters in between the two car parks, so it's almost a kilometer. So if you go that way with the other reverse opposite way that we went, those stairs coming back up are a killer. You're better off going down those stairs and then coming up the other car park and then walking across. So that's our recommendation if you're going to do it. It's an absolutely gorgeous walk as you see in the footage. But yeah, so this is the outro and you'll probably see me dressed like this in a very soon upcoming video <laughs> because I wasn't able to shoot the outro. So until next time guys, remember hit the like button and subscribe. Help me build this channel. Come on, let's get some subscribers happening. And don't forget the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Until next time, I'm Marche. This is Exploring Australia. See ya!